Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Guy, and today I'm going to teach you guys how I design. I use a program called GIMP. I'll post a link to download GIMP in the description of this video. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to find pants. You're going to find some pants, and what you're going to look for in pants is kind of flat. Like, you don't want it too curvy or too angled. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my free select tool, and I'm just going to select the areas that I want. Okay, and I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go to my template, and I'm going to start a new layer, make sure it's transparent, and put it underneath the template. I'm going to go ahead and paste it, and I'm going to just size it appropriately. So, okay, after you do that, just make sure like, your um, sides are even and everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete the excess here. Okay, and I'm just going to take this section right here, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to stretch it over the rest of the bottom of the torso. And then... Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to select, there. this certain pants has like a back, so I'm just going to select this section right here, so that I can make the sides. Again, rotate it. Okay, and just stretch it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and delete the top here so we don't get that skin color. Now I'll just take the second section here and just paste it. Okay, after I do that, I'm just going to copy this and put it on this side. And then paste it here and here. Okay, I'm going to use my free select tool just to give the front of the pants some definition here. I'm gonna go back here because I'm gonna add these pockets. So I'm just gonna select about half of this one pocket here. And I'm gonna paste it up here. And go ahead and resize it. And I'm just gonna copy and flip it so I can make the other half. Okay, and we'll just select this. And we're just gonna place it right on the pan. And I'm gonna go down with it a little bit. I'm actually going to lower these a little. Okay. And I'll go ahead and take this again and resize it. And we'll just put it probably about right here. And then I'll just flip this side. Okay. What I'm going to do now is this part I'm going to take out because whenever your legs fold together, it'll have like a real awkward blotchy spot. So I'm just going to delete that and we're just going to smudge the blend. Okay, and I'm going to take this section here and I'm going to paste it along the edges of the boxes here and use my rectangle tool to trace so that it doesn't overlap when I paste it like that okay and then I'm just going to select this and bring it down here and flip it okay and we're just going to do that for just go ahead and paste on that under all of that go ahead and copy this And I'm going to copy this and flip it again. Okay. Now after you do that, I want to get these pockets. Since this is going to be the front, the sides, and the back of your legs, I'm going to go here and I'm just going to select this underneath here. And I'm just going to line it up with the back of the edge of the template here. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. Let's go ahead and blend that in. Okay. And 
I'm just going to add this along the edges here so that whenever you walk you can see it. And then we'll just copy this. And we'll paste it here too. Then you basically have your pants done and I'm going to add some rips in these pants and how I just do my rips is very simple. I just take white and I'm just going to draw out with a not so hard airbrush and I'm just going to draw the section I want the hole to be. And then I'm going to click U, and I'm going to just delete like that. Okay, so I'm going to get an airbrush. Okay, and then I'm just going to start a new layer. And make lines across here with my white. layer and that makes it kind of like it looks like it's raked a little bit and you can do different angles too just to give it some variety I think I'm going to release okay. and that's basically how you make pants so I'm going to go ahead and save these for future use when I'm like the rips pants. Okay, I'm going to merge these layers. Okay, next I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new layer for the shirt. And this is the shirt I'm going to be using today. I'm going to go ahead and use my free select tool to select the area I want. Obviously I'm going to make it square so I'm just going to delete the top here like that and use my eclipse tool to delete the hanger part and we'll just line it up with the closest edge and we'll do it like that okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the area I want to use so I'm going here and again I'm going to size it appropriately And I'm going to select this white here and go ahead and delete it. Because I don't want to get the strings, the white off the strings, so. Okay. And I'll just use my clip tool to clean up the edges here. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to flip it and then flip it again so that it gives it an edge so that it's just symmetrical all the way through. And I'm going to go up here and delete this so that you have a neck hole. Okay. See how it looks with the pants. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up some so that whenever your pants Go over your shirt, it won't look weird. Okay, we'll do it about there. And now I'm just going to take this section here and I'm going to copy it and flip it. And then flip it again. So that it's even. Okay, we'll do the same thing over here. Copy and flip. 
again. Do about halfway through and switch. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section right here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it over here on the back. And we're going to get rid of these lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my paint tool. And I'm just going to draw it in. Okay, and I'll just smudge it so it looks normal. Okay. And I'm going to add a hood on the back of this. So how I'm going to do that is here is at the hood here. I'm just going to select a part of it. Like this. I'm going to use a blank canvas. And obviously I'm going to make it square. So I'm going to cut the top off. Move this area. Okay, and I'm going to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Set my offsets to zero. And just copy this one. Okay, now I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to go here. Resize it. And just paste it right onto the back here. Go ahead and smudge this up to the top so it looks normal. Okay, and now we're going to want this to match up with this. So I'm going to use this. Here I'm going to see a new layer. Put it above the template. That way I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Use this area here. And copy. And stretch and put it. And now just smooth it out. Okay, now I'm going to copy this and put it over here. Now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to put it up. And then your shirt is made. Okay, so I'm just going to show the edges are lined up and put your pants over it. Merge everything. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add my shoes to this. And then we're going to click export as Robots Files Outfits. My name is Tyler Outfit. And I'm going to export it and go to develop. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. I will be making a how to make a template in my next video. So thanks for watching.